So here's another mode for ham radio. Digital modes, FT8, JT65, and things like that. Well, I've had renewed interest in working digital modes for my HF operations, and that's because of a new product. And so this little device is from Digirig. It's called the Digirig Mobile. Coming in at one inch square by one and five eighths long, this thing is so simple and fits right in the palm of your hand. It's gonna help me out on a lot of my operations. A few years back, I did try digital modes and it really didn't fit what my use case was. It was really hard to set up and it was really clunky. I was using the Signalink USB. And while it is a good product, looking at the front panel like this, it can be intimidating. It was for me. And quite honestly, I could never get the settings right. And I just don't want something that I have to fiddle with. This isn't even setting up the wires. This is just the box. A lot of changes have come in a short period of time and that's why I'm so excited about it. And just to be clear, I purchased the device and the cables with my own money and this is not a sponsored video. I found this device by watching the tech prepper. He did some really good videos on how this thing works out. And then of course with FT8, watching a couple of videos from temporarily offline ham radio, a KM9G, Steve. Steve has some really good videos on FT8, and I'll continue watching his series there, and I encourage you to go to his channel as well. This is going to be a really quick overview because there's not a lot to it. On one end of the device is the audio port and the serial port, and these are both TRS connectors. And on the back of this is the most common USB-C fitting, and because there's only three connections here, and they're all pretty common and straightforward with no settings to make, this is a no-brainer for me to add to my kit. And at the time that I purchased this Online, it was $49.99, I think, uh, US dollars. If you operate on digital modes and you use this device, let me know in the comments down below how you feel about it and your experience. I'm really curious to know. It's going to be fun to share back and forth all this information. Now, let me give a quick shout out to Dennis, the owner. I had a question on a Sunday night. I just, I don't know the guy. I don't know the product. Went to the website. I had a question about what radio this thing would work for. And within minutes, I had a response. Now, I don't know if that's normal, but wow, that was great customer service. And that gave me a great warm feeling that my experience going forward is going to be a good one. It's always a telltale sign when you get a product and there is no tech support or it takes days for someone to get back in touch with you. That should be a red flag. Here's the other part I like about using this product, and that is the cables. When you go to the website and you look for your particular radio that you want to hook up to, there are a fair amount of cables that are cross radio, meaning the connector on one end is capable of running some Yesu, some Kenwood. They're all pinned out the same. And that's fantastic because then you can use one cable for multiple radios. But once you find the cable that works, you are good to go. So I take and label all these cables that I have, what they go for, what their device is, what they're used for, and where they hook up. So this way I can get operating much quicker. One of the things that got me really excited about this product is that it looks like Dennis has done a lot of research. It got a lot of feedback from people using the product and determined that putting these ferrites on these cables make a big difference. And I remember from back in the day, I had to add ferrites to my cables. You didn't know how many windings you need to put around. There was a lot of experimenting. And, uh, it never ends. So this makes getting on digital modes way simpler for me. And you know, you might check out one of Steve's videos on putting toroids around cheap USB cables. That'll actually fix your digital problem. Now the DigiRig Mobile does not come with a USB cable and that's totally fine for me. I have tons of these things laying around like you might as well. You'll have to test out the different cables that you have because not all cables are made for power handling and data at the same time. I don't wanna just do digital modes on one radio. I wanna do multiple radios and multiple things to make it fun for me. This makes the experience of getting into digital way more fun. So my first order was the DigiRig Mobile and I ordered the cable set that works for my 857 and my TMV71. So this means I can do some digital modes on my mobile two meter rig as well as HF. Now I'm not currently a huge digital fan and this may actually change my outlook on how I see that. Now I do have some fun videos planned coming up where I'm gonna be using this out mobile, out camping, even some contesting. And as a side bonus, my wife has actually mentioned to me that she would be willing to help me on a contest if I had digital modes where she didn't have to talk. And bam! I couldn't click that buy button fast enough. Now, you know, this is going to be fun and I like that. And make sure if you like this, you click that like button down below. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing to get more videos like this. If you want to see more videos on mobile or portable operating, check out this one right here.